Hi guys. Good Lord, I have truly washed up into the streets of hell on this god awful slit your wrist depressing kind of day here in the end times. It is a Saturday, October 7th, 2023, uh, where the temperature has dropped 40 degrees since two days ago and uh, I am in the shithole, the godforsaken hellhole of Cortland, New York, which is right down the street from, from Ithaca. I feel like I am on a different planet. No offense to David Simonson, but uh, good lord, this is uh, Cortland. That's Cortland with a C, not Portland with a P. Has truly turned in to a an even worse pit from hell than I remember, and it, and it's pretty hard for Cortland, New York, to go downhill. But uh, anyway, I actually found a decent Asian meal, and I cannot believe it. Uh, I have been given not one, but two fortunes. So I get to uh, test my luck with two fortunes. So I guess in honor of maybe my new channel, uh, Aliens and Doomers, we're going to... Uh, we're going to get two fortunes read here and the hellhole of Cortland, New York. So why don't we start with aliens? And it's been a long time since I have uh, asked the universe about Dulcinea. But uh, Dulcinea is somewhat returning to the edges of my life. And uh, so as you guys may or may not know, what I figured out, a memory that was triggered earlier this week, is that Dulcinea and I, the reason that we have such a soul connection, is that we actually met probably going on 50 years ago in a... in a... Uh, in a UFO that, uh, you know, I started going down this rabbit hole and I stumbled on this uh, video, some woman I had never heard of before. All I know is her name was Karen. She was just some absolutely new person in my life. Uh, and it was Karen who brought me to the realization that, uh, you know, Karin met her soulmate on a UFO, and, uh, and it stirred a buried memory that, uh, I, I just love it, you, you know, when people come into your lives out of nowhere, and they reveal this to you, so what does, uh, my fortune have to say about, uh, am I going to hook back up with Dulcinea on a UFO. Do I have a rendezvous with Dulcinea on a UFO in my near future? <clears throat> Take it away. This is Golden, Golden Bowl Fortune. New people will bring you new realizations, especially big issues. There you go. New people will bring you new realizations, especially big issues, such as my soulmate. So I want to, you know, I, I just absolutely love the way the universe works, where uh, I want to thank Corin for coming into my life 
and bringing me the new realization that uh, I met my twin flame on a UFO and uh, we will see how this story goes but we're going to change focus a little bit now and uh, now that I have some confirmation from the universe about uh, meeting Dulcinea on a UFO. Let's look at, that's the second biggest story on the planet, so now let's get some confirmation, shall we? Are we fucked? Well, we know the answer, so I've Maybe I'm going to reframe the question. Are we fucked? No, I'm sorry. How fucked are we? How fucked are we? Now, this one I'll have to think about. How fucked are we? Sloth. Sloth makes all things difficult. Industry all easy. Sloth makes all things difficult. Industry all easy. That is an interesting comment on the state of global industrial civilization. Well, yeah, I guess industry does make things all easy. So, uh, Enjoy all the uh, the ease. Enjoy all that ease that global industrial civilization has brought into your life while you still can. But uh, I gotta wrap up and get out of the shithole hell of Cortland. New York, baby, and head back to Bugs in a Jar Farm to start packing for my rendezvous with my twin flame in the UFO. Now that I have realized the big issue, thanks to new people, get out there and meet some new people and get some realizations while you still can. Bye, guys.